Uh, you got now. Let me just give this. Let me give. Let me just give this. Let me give just a. Let me give one more. All right now. Now now now. So you're a king. You're a priest. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord. Glory to God. Let me just give one more. Maybe one. Then then I'll wind it up. All right now. Let, let me now. Now here's the part you got to get. Now this is what you gotta. You gotta get this too. Now you gotta get this, especially in this hour. You can't be timid. You got to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. You're a soldier. Write this down. I'm a soldier. See, write that down. Write that down. You're a soldier. That's one of the personifications. Now, look. Look at, look at, look at 2 Timothy uh, 2. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3 and verse 4. 2 Timothy, this one's going to be important. It's going to be important because because you don't let politicians weak you down, scare you down, preachers scared to preach. You know they took us off of YouTube and stuff like that. Well, that's, that's up to them. That's up to them. Uh, listen, these uh, th these class, these departments, and th these folks know who I am, yet they ask me to speak at tomorrow. I got to speak at the, uh, the back of line. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no, you know for a while I ain't no political correct preacher. But the world of scared preachers and scared folks so bad like they're going to take everything like Jehovah Jireh is my provider. Do you understand? Glory to God. Ooh, do y'all see this? So what's going to happen? Let's take a look. Verse 3, 2 Timothy 2 and 3. All right. Now. He says, uh, Thou therefore endure hardness. Do y'all see that? As a what? Good soldier of who? Jesus Christ. Verse 4. No man that warreth entangle himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please the one who hath chosen him. Somebody say chosen. Who has chosen him to be a what? A soldier. Saints of God, you've been chosen by God to be a soldier. And there ain't no need in falling out and falling over, out, over air. I don't care if I, uh, uh, they call me Friday or something, whatever it was, something anyway. Early on they said, uh, uh, we've taken the mask off and you've been chosen to be, a, uh, to, to be tested for COVID or whatever. I ain't got time for that. I ain't going. Your school will be affected if you don't go. I'm not going no COVID. Now, I can't explain to them that I, I'm operating in authority, that I stand, you understand, that I got authority over it. Now, now listen, 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 listen. You can have as much as you want or you can have as less as you want. That's up to you. But don't hate on me because I know I'm a son of God. Because I'm a king and a priest. Don't hate on me because I know I got authority. Don't hate on me because I don't just defeat the devil. You see what happened. Amen. I spoil him. Now, if you don't want it. Now, if you don't want it. You don't want it. I'm not in any delusion about COVID-19. It is a virus. It is an animal who's trying to live. That's why I keep changing so much. Do you understand? But guess what God put in place? Now, remember I told y'all, I don't get up in front of y'all and just spout no stuff. Didn't I just sit up here with Passover and take y'all through the, 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 uh, the pandemics over a, over time? Didn't I just do that? And don't they last about two to three years? I mean, so I'm not coming to hear some dumb somebody just talking about something stupid. And then now I got the goods. Look. I had it. You know how many folks they talk about now? One of the long-term effects of COVID is what? Diabetes. I said, I'll be doggone. Look at that devil. He tried to get me twice. Do y'all understand? What? Not only are you going to turn me loose, but you're going to raise me on up higher. When you turn me loose, all of that is done what? Just work for my good. Come on, thank the Lord. Why? Because you got to end your hardness as a good soldier. If you get tangled up in all this stuff, like Naomi, don't know what time it is, don't know who your name is, don't know what season it is, don't know what God is doing, then you ought to be scared. You ought to be. You ought to be. So they finally figured out a way to get me in there. 
Well, you, <laughs> when I went, I saw, I said, oh, Lord, they just testing people like crazy. I guess they got to get the quota. Well, you've been uh, next to somebody that had COVID, and if you don't come and test, you can't go graduate and everything like that. And the Lord's like, Merv, go show yourself to the priest. <laughs> I said, girl, I got to get these finals done. I ain't got no time for all this foolishness. Ain't nobody sick with no COVID. But they got to get the quotas in, whatever that is. I didn't realize when I went down there, I saw it. So I was going to go somewhere else, get tested. And the Lord said, go down. I had to go down. So said, well, you go show yourself to the priest, boy. Yes, sir. <laughs> I go in there. Okay, well, are you sick? Are you are you feeling well? <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> are you having any symptoms? Are you having? <laughs> I'm not the only symptom I got to try to get through these exams so I can go on and graduate. Well, we have to test you. Ma'am, come on with it, please. And after she got through digging up my nose, I said, if it didn't happen, y'all done gave me something. God knows you're digging <laughs> <laughs> what, what you trying to do, kid? <laughs> After they got through, I'm starting and blowing. <laughs> I said, good God Almighty. Y'all done gave me this Lord. I got, now I got to stand up against whatever it is y'all trying to get me. I need you to wait right here. They can't leave. I need you to wait, wait, wait right here. Wait right here. Wait right here. Okay, fine. Well, Merv, we just want to let you know you're negative. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> I couldn't tell them that at 4 a.m. every morning I was in this church taking authority. In this church, I was being a soldier in the army of the Lord. They could not understand that. They could not understand that I had to endure hardness as a good soldier. I couldn't sleep to 8 o'clock or 6 o'clock. I had to get in here with the Lord to know how to defeat COVID and no one died in this church. Give God a praise now in Jesus' name. You don't, you don't, a soldier ain't hoping and wishing. A soldier, you got to get with it. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. That's why God is trying to change us. Amen. From doing all this praying, trying to get a blessing. He said, why y'all ain't ain't nobody took a fire? Ain't nobody told it what to do. Lord, touch me. Do something with this castle. You do something with it. I gave you the authority to. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Come on, give God thanks today. Come on. Come on, thank him. Come on, thank him. Come on, thank him. Come on, sons of God. Thank the Lord. Friends of God, thank the Lord. Kings and priests, thank the Lord. Soldiers in the house of God, give God a praise for the victory now. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. That's right. Thank him. Go ahead and thank him. Go ahead and thank him for your name. Go ahead and thank him for your place. Go ahead and thank him for your purpose. Go ahead and thank him in the name of Jesus. Glory. That's right. Come on. Your place of power is in your purpose. Your place of power is in the plan of God. Your place of power is to do just what he says. Give God a shout in here in the name of Jesus. God's got to use you. You are ambassadors for Christ. You are not in this hour just to survive. You're supposed to thrive. I'm trying to teach you the value of being a son of God. You understand? Do you see where I get this confidence from? You thought it was just me. Let me tell you something. My strength failed last week. I'm like, man, I'm so tired. I don't even, I ain't even worry about it. Here, y'all just give me whatever grade you want. And the Lord's like, boy, if you don't get yourself up and get his work done, you better. At the end now. At the end. You understand what I'm saying? At the end. At the end. At the end. But we push through. I'm trying to show you the value of it. And if you won't take time just to look up your name, you won't take the time to your middle name, your surname, you, all, you don't know how much you've left on the table, your, 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 your parents and grandparents, how much they left on that table that belongs to you. That's a blessing all in itself. Here you are a blessing. And here God birthed you. It was no accident or no coincidence. 
when he birthed you. But you won't appreciate it if you don't at least take the time to look at it. To say, now, what the world? Are you kidding me? Amen. Praise the Lord. Finding your identity, your purpose, your place. There now, look at this story. Ooh, you wait till you start writing your story. All y'all looking around, and because we don't realize who we are, uh, folk to this day think a pastor is like a shaman. I need the pastor to pray for me. I need to, I got to get to the pastor. I got to get to the pastor. Don't respect the pastor, but I got to get to the pastor. <laughs> I ain't going to get no help on that one. I ain't going to get no help on that one. I ain't going to get no help. Amen. See, because if you knew what he was trying to do, you'd, you'd be busy. Amen. We'd be busy. Praise the Lord. Amen. You didn't look at it. I'm talking to you too. <laughs> you'd be busy. You'd be busy. Nevertheless, 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 nevertheless. But what God has shown us in this East season of time, that the message is in all of us. I don't, do y'all have to have that, uh, that slide on the, uh, uh, the names in Genesis 5 and the message? Would you put the names up in Genesis 5? Go, go you, 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 Genesis 5. Y'all see all them names? Look at that. Adam, man. Seth, anointed. Enosh, mortal. Uh, Kenan, sorry. It's Genesis 5. It's just names. The blessing, the, uh, the blessed one, Michaela, uh, Mahela, Jared, uh, shall come down. Uh, Enoch, teaching. Methuselah, his death shall bring. Lem uh, Lamech, the, the, uh, the sparing one, and Noah, rest or comfort. Now, do you have the message? Do you have the message? Now, look at the message. Look at all the names. Man is appointed. Mortal song. But the blessed God shall come down, teaching that his death shall bring the despairing rest. Ain't that the message of the gospel? Come on, thank the Lord right there. Thank the Lord. Now look around to your left or your right. Look around to your left or right. You thought there was just name. No, sir, you're part of the message. You complete the message. Now, if you don't know who you are, you get mad at folk because you don't know your part. You don't know your place. But you've been called to complete the message. Glory to God.